And as the teams emerge to what is a sold out crowd, more than 6,000 people at the Broadfield Stadium this evening, I can introduce the man alongside me, Mr. Mark Bright. Mark, a third Palace pre-season game. What are you expecting from this evening? As, uh, good evening, Will, and good evening, every, good evening everybody. Um, yeah, as we move forward, just improvement in every area, fitness and t t touch, weight of pass. That's a wonderful clip ball and brought down excellently by Edward in towards Mateta. Oh, what a save. Fantastic save from the goalkeeper, but some move from Palace. It was very York man. Eze's corner. Good delivery towards the core. Can Palace match that delivery from the corner? Eze's ball in. Mateta! Thumping header and Palace lead after just seven minutes and Jean-Philippe Mateta is on the score sheet again no stopping that one for the goalkeeper and it is Crawley nil Crystal Palace one here is Eze going forward with purpose gets it back from Mateta excellent footwork Eze oh just round the post but what a goal it would have been with the injury but he's in the goal into Mateta flag stays down excellent. 2-0, Jean-Philippe Mateta again, he has a brace, wonderful assist from Eze too, it's Eze to Mateta, once again that combination paying off for Palace, Jacob Ryan more direct this time and it's a great ball to pick out Ward, Ward across the face of goal, just in between Mateta and Edouard, now Eze, still going Eze, oh what a goal! Well, he's been threatening to do something like that since kickoff. He's already created two for Mateta. But this time, Iberieze does it all himself, picks out the top corner, and it's Crawley nil, a rampant Crystal Palace three. Excellent challenge from Czech to Corey, and here go Palace again. Eze, Mateta making the run, Edouard to his left, still going Eze. Inside, a hammer! It is four. Palace are running right here, 24 minutes gone, and now Ria Hamada, and he gets his first goal in Palace colours. So here's the Crawley corner, in towards the far post, Johnston gets something to it. Short pass in, cut out by Hughes, flick towards Mateta, but one back by Orsi. Encouraged to shoot, and it's dipping, but not enough to trouble Sam Johnston. Back to Edward, neat turn. Now Ahamada. Now Ward. Deflected! Ooh. Inches away from a fifth, but it will be a corner. Hughes ball in. Met by O'Brien. Breaks for Jordan Ayu. Over the top. Goalkeeper came out first. He did. Really firm challenges against Bronby. Defending now for Palace to do. There's Gordon. Decent effort too. Good effort. Very good effort. Same stage. Here's Gordon. Good footwork initially and then couldn't dig out the cross. But that's an ambitious effort off the post. And Remy Matthews just <laughs> grateful to see that bounce back into his hands. It was like training, wasn't it? bit. Now Ayu has it back from Hughes. Raksaki makes a run through the middle. But given away and here is Ayu and now Raksaki is in. And how has that stayed out? Hudson Edward sliding across just couldn't get the touch. A play from Jordan Ayu. This is Mitchell's run as a decoy. And there goes the final whistle. The attack cut short. And it finishes Crawley nil, Crystal Palace four. And despite a lack of second half goals, that's a valuable run out, isn't it, for Palace? And yes, entertaining too. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be pleased with that. Um